Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Rubin from Naturopathic Specialists here with David Wales from American Biosciences. We've been good friends for, I don't know, 20 plus years. years. Yeah, yeah. And you haven't changed a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, wanted to talk about their particular CBD product because it is unique in yes, the marketplace. Yes, uh -huh. So I've been along for the ride a little bit, uh -huh. um, especially talking to your partner, Rick Janke. Yeah. We've been good friends. Yeah. And he told me about your adventures and developing your own manufacturing facility. Right. Mm -hmm. So tell us about CBDA. Tell us about sure. how you developed your sure. own product line. And stuff. Yeah, I'd love okay, to hear good. About why it's well, American Biosciences, Rick and I started in 1999, and we're very much research oriented. And I was raised on natural medicine, and every time I evaluate uh, new medicines, I find they come from a source in a natural compound. Now, I've been familiar with cannabis as a medicine. It's been used for thousands of years, and recently, researchers are purifying an element or a constituent of a cannabis called CBD. And uh, the whole world is fascinated with CBD. It's but like it, a huge market. It's, it's enormous, right, because there's a lot of things that it, it acts on. Yeah. But it turns out that in traditional medicine, if a person were to use cannabis as an herb, they would not be getting CBD. They'd be getting the whole herb. So we developed a method of extracting all the constituents of the hemp flower. Like including terpenes? Well, yeah, all the terpenes, all the yeah. cannabinoids, most importantly, all the polyphenols. Because when they uh, incorporate... Why are polyphenols important? Well, the polyphenols uh, act on many different pathways for anti-inflammation yeah. and for supporting immune function. Like other sources of polyphenols would be like blueberries. Yeah, or blueberries or grapes and so many other but things. they are right? in the cannabis plant, which Absolutely. not a lot of people think of. Oh, yeah. And, okay. and uh, it's, you know, uh, chlorophyll, for instance. When, when companies take uh, an extract of, of cannabis to make it into CBD, they heat it up. They decarboxylate. That is to say, they knock the... Uh, oxygen molecule that's naturally occurring on the cannabinoid to make what they think of as a stable molecule CBD. We determined to make an extract con with all the constituents without using heat to preserve the heat sensitive but This one in particular mm -hmm. is high in CBDA, yes. which is really good for nausea. Well, as it turns out, so CBDA is more water soluble than CBD and more bioavailable. In, so when you- what, Is CBDA CBD or is it a whole different thing? It's, it's, it's really a different molecule, but okay. CBDA does contain the, that the body will metabolize it and in some cases, you know, only use a constituent that might be considered CBD. But for the most part, so CBD, the extra oxygen molecule that makes it CBDA, makes it more water soluble. Okay. And for assays of nausea, it's a thousand times more effective at suppressing that pathway than CBD. And so it's particularly effective in nausea. But then also as a pain reliever, as it turns out, uh, there are neurological pathways that CBD may uh, interfere and help with pain, but uh, CBDA actually acts on the inflammatory pathway uh, COX-2. Okay. So CBDA is a selective inhibitor of COX-2. So for this product, this it's at our clinic, um, CBDA, it's very enriched. It's one of the highest on the market in oh, It CBDA. is, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. And we're using it here for uh, nausea. As long as you can swallow a pill, or you can open the pill. Yeah, you can open the yeah, pill. You can yeah. eat it. It's yeah, absolutely. In fact, if you open this pill and you taste it, it's really amazing. It tastes like a hemp plant because we we did not change the natural molecules. This is everything in the hemp flower except for protein and fiber. The protein is what might provoke allergies in people, and we had enough people with with pollen allergies that we mm -hmm. took it out for that reason. And the fiber, just because we had to make the product more dense. Well, thanks for explaining yeah, the project. Yeah, thank you, it sir. It's been great. Thank you.